Hello Math 7 students, this is Utah Middle School Math Project 4.2H, more on proportional and non-proportional relationships. This is a really great review in preparation for our test. It focuses on just determining whether or not a specific relationship is proportional. So to get started, we need to answer this first question. Can I tell whether a relationship is proportional or non-proportional just by looking at a table or a graph? or an equation? And I'll tell you now that the answer is yes, we just need the details. What specifically am I looking for when I see a table in order to determine if it's proportional or not? I want you online learners who are watching this video to pause the video long enough to really think about each one of these. What specifically do I need in a table? What specifically do I need in a graph? And what specifically do I need in, in an equation? Write your responses down and then can come back to the video where we'll listen to some student responses. Okay, we're back. Looking at tables, what specifically would I need to see in a table to show that it's proportional? Uh, get me started, please, Carter. We want to be able to see a unit rate. Now, what specifically would it look like if I saw a unit rate? Carter, again, that was your response, so explain what you mean. Okay. I'm going to play devil's advocate there. We want to see that 1 in the x column. I see a 1 in this x column, so does this mean that this is proportional? No, and you guys saw that right away because you see something else in that table, right? And so although a unit rate can help us, it's not an identifying feature. And we want to be really careful about what we mean. So one thing that we talked about um, when we went over our vocabulary is we talked about how, let me back up a little bit, the unit rate is the same as the constant of proportionality. So that's what I want us to do is when we see a 1 in that x column in a table, and we want to identify it as the unit rate, let's also see if it identifies as the constant of proportionality. So, want to see the unit rate, that would mean we're looking for an x in, nope, I'm sorry, 1 in the x column. And we want it to be the same as the constant of proportionality. which leads us to something else that we probably want to see in a table. What is something else that I should see in a table if it represents a proportional relationship? Seth. A non-zero, exactly, yes. So, just again, looking at this example, you guys identified immediately that this is not proportional because we saw a zero in the x column and we saw a not a zero, and that's enough. So, if we see a zero, in the x column, we should see a zero in the y column. But here is your warning. Even that's not enough either. I've got some tricky ones in here. Just seeing a zero in the x and a zero in the y, that's a clue, but that's not quite enough. Whenever I've seen a table, I've asked specific questions. Things like, how do we go forward, right? And so that's the real key identifying factor. One thing that we definitely need to have when we're looking at tables is we need there to be a Constant of proportionality. There must be a constant of proportionality. And we've got some problems below where we're looking at tables that we're going to practice this, but let's continue on. What if I don't have a table? What if all I have is a graph? What do I need to know? What do I need to see in that graph to know that it's a proportional relationship? Danielle. Line has to go through the origin. Is there anything else we need to know? 
Dan uh, Peyton. It does have to be a straight line. Line has to go through the origin, which is kind of implied by saying line, but we want to be really, really clear that it does have to be a straight line. One last thing. Does it have to go through the origin? I don't think we have any examples here. I think it's on the homework. Okay, let me make up an example. And the question that I'm asking is, again, does it have to go through the origin? What if it looked like this? Does it go through the origin? It could, and that's the key thing. It could. Did I draw a point that went through the origin? No. Is it linear? Yes. And if I continued that line all the way back, is it going to go through the origin? Yes. But in the beginning, was there a point that went through the origin? No. So we want to make sure that we're careful. The line has to go through the origin. Let's say the line has to maybe be able to go back to the origin. Just a point of clarification there. And looking at equations, we practiced this with our warm-up today. Looking at equations, what specifically would we look for with equations? Can you tell just by looking at an equation if it's proportional or not? What are we looking for, uh, Gabe? Okay, if we see adding or subtracting, it's not proportional. So specifically, what do I want to see? Good. Equation has only multiplication or division. And that means no addition or subtraction. And now, I think you're ready to work through this um, this class activity. We have four tables here. Let me just make sure I'm reiterating these directions. It says determine whether the tables show a proportional relationship between X and Y. So at first it's just a yes or no. But if the table is proportional, then you also need to write the equation for that relationship. And just a very brief explanation like no COP or COP equals whatever it ends up being equal to, but keep your explanation brief because that is a very small amount of space. Uh, below, we have some questions asking whether or not these equations are proportional. And again, just a brief explanation. And past that, we have this section asking if these graphs are proportional. And again, if the graph is proportional, I want you to write the equation. This is probably the most challenging of all writing an equation from a graph. We've usually written uh, equations from tables, so perhaps we can start by making a table based on that information. Okay, I think this is uh, one of those where I think you really can just work through it on your own. We'll come back and kind of check in with our answers, but I will not be guiding through this any further than we already have. Whenever you get stuck, refer back to what we wrote down here. We're looking at tables first, look for those things. Uh, pause the video until you have gone through each one of these problems. Um, and we'll come back together then. Okay, we're going to come back. Um, this first one, is it a proportional relationship? What do you think, Gabe? How do you know? Yes, the constant proportionality is 2. Everywhere on this table, I'm going forward in this table by multiplying by 2. So we were able to find that constant of proportionality. So yes, it is proportional. So let's go back to what we said. We said that in the uh, table, if there's a zero in the X column, we should see a zero in the Y column. And I don't see a zero at all. So is it okay to say no? That this isn't proportional because I don't see the zeros? No. Do you have to have the zeros? No, it's just if there are zeros, we also need to make sure that we're looking for these other things. So the equation for this one should be Let's see, I'm in the x column, I go forward into the y column by multiplying by 2, so x times 2 equals y, or any other version of that, like y equals 2x. 
What about B? Is it proportional? What do you think, Carter? It is proportional. What is the constant of proportionality then? It is one half. And I know these negatives are throwing you off. We're not going to worry about that too much because you have calculators. Here we said, hmm, how do I go forward? We're multiplying by one half. Here it's multiplying by one half. So I already know it works for these two spots on the table. So we're going to use what we know for sure works and see if it works here. Type it into your calculator. Negative two times one half is negative one. And sure enough, it works. You do need to make sure that you are entering this in your calculator the right way. You in-person students, please remember that this is the negative. Find that button here. It's the button that's below the three. You cannot use a subtraction button. It won't work. With that in mind, when I type in, what was it? Negative two? Negative two times the fraction one half it does give me a negative one. So it confirms that that constant of proportionality is one half. Okay, so what's the equation? Well, we go forward in this table by multiplying by one half. So x times one half is equal to y or y equals one half x. And C, we already talked about it at the beginning. Is this proportional? No. How do we know that? Because x is 0 and y should be 0, but it's 2. So it, go, it does not go through the origin. And so d is much better because it does go through the origin, right? So is it proportional? Yeah, we have to be careful. Just because we see that it does go through the origin, is there a constant of proportionality? 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 4 is, or sorry, <laughs> 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 5 thirds is 5. Are we multiplying by the same thing? No. So yes, it goes through the origin, but no, because there is no constant of proportionality. All right, let's continue on. We've got our graphs. Just kidding, before graphs, we have our equations. I have to scroll down further. Here's your equations. Let's look at these equations. Are they proportional? Let's start here. Y equals 2X. Is it proportional? Yes. How do you know? Yeah, it's just multiplying. 2X means 2 times X. So only multiplication going on. Uh, I think even more than that, you could easily just say the constant of proportionality is 2. That tells me that there's only multiplication happening. What about B? This equation looks very different than any other equation we've written. So y equals x over 3. Is that proportional? Let's take a vote. Raise your hand if you say yes, it's proportional. Raise your hand if you say no, it's not proportional. I have a whole class full of students who didn't vote at all. Go back. Look at it. Online learners, take this time to think through it again. Go back and read for equations, has only multiplication or division, no addition or subtraction. Does that meet that criteria? Yeah, it does. So raise your hand if you say yes, it's proportional. Raise your hand if you say no, it's not proportional. Okay, we got the idea. Yes, it's proportional. How do we know? Here's what I would do to explain this. That x divided by 3, guess what? That's the same as 1 third x. Now that equation looks a lot more like the ones that we've seen in the past, right? Remember, we've said it before, dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by 1 third. C, take a look at it, quiet think time again. Is it proportional? Let's take a vote. Who says yes, it's proportional? Raise your hand. Who says no, it's not proportional? All right, everyone said no. How do you know that it's not proportional? What are you seeing? Uh, good, let's go Jaden this time. Yeah, we're using addition. It's that dang plus one. That means it's not going to go through the origin. Uh-oh. This looks different, doesn't it? One half y equals x. 
that's obviously not going to be proportional. Raise your hand if you say it's proportional. Raise your hand if you say it's not proportional. Yep, you're all wrong. We've written equations like this. I tricked you. And we've written equations like this. Do you remember when we would write an equation like y equals 2x? And then if we would reverse those columns, the constant of proportionality goes to its reciprocal. So yes, we have the reciprocal, but we also have a few other changes in there too. What was y equals is now x equals. Key thing, is there only multiplication or division? Yes, that's enough. It is proportional. We can explain by write, rewriting that equation to be y equals 2x. And now we're to e. Quiet think time again as we look over e. Is it proportional? Raise your hand if you say yes. Raise your hand if you say no. Agreed. And I'm going to say no because that plus one half. But it's just a half, so it's fine, right? No. Okay, and exactly that half still means it's not going through the origin. F, y equals 0.75x. Is it proportional? Raise your hand if you say yes. Raise your hand if you say no. I have students who didn't vote. Let's try that again. Raise your hand if you say yes. Raise your hand if you say no. Okay. How do we know? Once again, it's just only multiplication, which means the constant of proportionality is 75 hundredths. Yep. All right, we can get through this last part. Determine whether each of these graphs is proportional. The equation part is going to be a challenge, but I bet we can at least figure out if they're proportional or not. A, is it proportional? Yeah, because it's a straight line that goes through the origin. We'll come back and write our explanations and equations in a second. B, is it proportional? Yes, it's a straight line that goes through the origin. How about C, is it proportional? But it's a straight line. Okay. And what about this one? Yes, it doesn't matter that it goes back into the negative side. It's a straight line that goes through the origin. Okay, let's write some equations. You should remember that when we have proportional relationships, the equation is in the form y equals kx, with k being that constant of proportionality. And as we already mentioned, that constant of proportionality should be the same as the unit rate. So it makes it really easy to write our equations without needing, an, needing a table. Let's find the unit rate. That means when x is 1, what is y? 6. So what's the unit rate? 6 over 1. In other words, what's the constant of proportionality? 6. six. So what's the equation? x times 6 equals y, or in reverse order, y equals 6x, x6, x six, either way. Not too bad, right? Okay, this one's a little bit harder. Here's the one. I can't tell exactly. It's kind of tough to tell, right? So let's go to somewhere on the graph where I can tell, like right here. And that would be 7 and... We can't just say 7, right? It's 7 because we went over 2. And 7 over 2 is the same as 3.5 over 1. So yeah, it looked like 3.5, but we actually confirmed it using another spot on the graph. So the unit rate is 3.5, so the constant of proportionality is 3.5. Therefore, the equation is... Yep, depending on how you like it, x times 3.5 equals y or y equals 3.5x. And we don't have to write an equation here because it was not proportional. What is the unit right here? I see 3, 2, this is going to be the 1. Go up 1, and, or over 1, sorry, and I am at 3. So the unit rate is 3 per 1, which means the constant of proportionality is 3, which means the equation is x times 3 equals y or y equals 3x. 
That's it for today. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Just kidding. I'm not ending the video yet. Come back. 4.2H is your homework for this particular section. Uh, so the front page that we did, that was all in class. The rest of it is homework. Now, officially, we're done. Thanks for watching.